Sounding off tonight, parents, police, and community leaders packed a Hartford County School Gymnasium to talk school safety. Following the tragic shooting in Parkland, Florida, many parents eager to find out how schools are being kept safe. WJC is live outside Carroll Schools, where uh, outside John Carroll School, where hundreds attended the town hall. George. That's right, Vic. More than 150 questions were submitted for this very important discussion. And while the weather earlier tonight kept some of the expected crowd away, that still didn't stop about 500 people from showing up to hear and discuss ideas on school safety. In what's becoming a routine practice across the country following the horror in Parkland, Florida, concerned parents and public officials coming together to talk school safety. Thursday, both packing this Hartford County school gym. We just want to know what the plan is to keep our kids safe because, you know, that's what's most important. The town hall, an opportunity for law enforcement, teachers, elected officials, and parents to educate themselves and each other on a wide range of issues of concern. School bullying, mental health access. I think there's a lot that can be improved um, with the school system. Since Parkland, there have been approximately 10 perceived threats investigated by the Hartford County Sheriff's Office, only one case leading to the arrest of two students. They weren't threatening the school as in violence. They were threatening the school with fear. We do know that there is anxiety on the part of the parents and some of the students and staff. Harvard County's Chief of Safety and Security also in attendance, weighing in on how Governor Hogan's proposed $125 million for vast security improvements across Maryland schools will help. The doors. Um, security surveillance cameras, some of our aging cameras. The topic of arming teachers also brought up. The sheriff, who has a daughter in the school system himself, saying he approves of the idea but says it's not his call to make. It's not something for the sheriff to decide. It's not something for the schools to decide. It's in the hands of the legislature. In all, just part of the much larger conversation that is school safety. I think it's a good showing that we're all in this together. Now, the sheriff is also happy to hear about the governor's pledge of $50 million in grant money that would allow for the hiring of more school resource officers. Live in Harford County tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Another idea presented was the creation of a special task force that would include training some school workers how to deal with a potential threat.